Today we open rare Yu-Gi-Oh blister packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we are gonna be opening some rare blister packs as well as some Power of the Duelist, which is gonna be pretty fun hobby packs and then some Ghosts from the Past too. So pretty much anything can have a heavy hitter in it. This is gonna be an awesome opening. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these five first edition Duelist pack crow packs. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite card we pulled from this video or potential card we could pull. All right, let's hop right into the opening because we have a decent amount of packs to open today. We have not done a video like this where we're just opening packs that we're probably going to be super negging on and you know it's been a little bit so i'm pretty excited about doing this and also if you guys want to support you know the neg that's probably going to happen in this video i do have a couple more pharaonic guardian there's a dark magician the dragon knight very cool and dd necro slime and i also have one more dark crisis on my website ruxon34.com and a lot of other stuff so if you guys want to support check that out you guys can buy something there the comedy is pretty good chronicle magician and fossil machine skull wagon all right let's go into our first power of the duelist very nice pack let's see what we can pull i'm pretty excited about this opening today i love to do these old old school openings you guys know this i mean at this point if you don't know this you're very new if you're very new welcome to the channel thanks for subscribing if you guys are enjoying the videos like this make sure to subscribe as well synthetic seraphim we got the ambulance rescue roid alien gray oh and that's a good way to start it elemental hero dark neos this is the ultra rare version not the ulti the ulti is huge but this is still a nice card i think it's around 15 bucks ungraded but if it gets graded probably a couple hundred bucks in a psa 10 and this one honestly looks like it is a psa 10 yeah check this card out this card is super nice centering is really good sir yeah that's psa 10 i'm gonna call it now psa 10 dark neos very nice okay so I saw that a lot of you guys really enjoyed the video about the uh, counterfeit UDE stuff, which was really awesome because it took me forever to put that out. It did take a lot of like research as well as like, you know, the voiceover stuff takes longer than just like recording and opening and everything. So I appreciate that you guys really liked it and that's pretty awesome. So if you didn't see it, go check it out. It was a really cool video talking about uh, Konami and UDE uh, counter, you know, the not counterfeit. Well, the counterfeit and also the, the suit is what I'm trying to say. The lawsuit. We got the, the fake here. Let's just continue. I can't speak right now. Fear Monger. We got the Vircoid Connection Zone. Oh, and an ultimate rare. Neo, Spatian, Dark Panther. These are really good packs right now. Ultimate rare, Dark Panther. This thing's way OC. It seems like all the ultimate rares I'm pulling out of these packs that I have are off center, but that's still a pretty nice one. I think I accidentally sold someone on TCG player by accident. I sent them a near mint instead of a lightly played, and then someone bought the near mint, so I had to cancel that one, and I lost out on like double the money, but someone got a really good deal on that one. So yeah, now we got another near mint one. That one's pretty expensive. I think it's like 150 bucks, because the one I sold, I sold it, but I had already accidentally shipped it to somebody, and it kept the lightly played instead of the near mint. Oh, and the red eyes! Let's go, what an opening! Wow, and look, this one's way shifted as well. So we could not pull this one. At least it does have a nose, unlike my other one, which got shifted off of the... It's really weird how they shift. Like, they shift the foiling and they shift, like, the artwork. So on my other one, they shifted it so the nose was, like, coming off of the, like, screen, I say. The uh, the artwork, so you couldn't even see it. That's crazy. We opened 12 and a half cases. Now I opened the first box of this case, and we got another one. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Centering's pretty good, actually. Wait, how's the back? Whoa. Wait, wait a second. Okay, a little bit, maybe a little bit of stuff right here. I could see it on my angle, but not your, let's see. Wait, okay, you guys see that? Not much at all. Like it's centered. I mean, all it has is foil shifting. I don't know how they're gonna grade, they would grade that, but honestly, a potential grading candidate. I think I'm gonna send these in with my two blue eyes that I got. Well, I said we were gonna nag, but at this rate, may, may, maybe not. Who knows? We're pulling some pretty good stuff. All right, Ghost Rare. I wasn't expecting that, but we will take that. We will take that. Tats and Ekro. We got the Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. That's a good card. Vampire Takeover. I feel like we've we've let ourselves... These packs, there's no way they're good at this point. We've pulled so many good cards already. This has been quite the opening. I'm very happy with this so far. We got the Execu Executor. Different card. It's not a Pokemon. Contract. We got the DD Lamia. All right, the Lamia. Got a long way to go, but... Uh, Short time to get... No, I'm just kidding. All right, we're doing really well so far. DDD Vice King. Manju, good card. Th this actually was one of the least... Of the cards I pulled out, we did not pull very many of these. I think it was the least of all the cards. Like, even less than, like, a Luber and stuff. Okay, okay. This has been fun. This has been awesome, guys. I appreciate you guys watching and enjoying the channel, especially recently with Ghosts from the Past 2 and subscribing. It's been really great. Despot001. Once again, uh, if you guys have not heard about the extra videos I'm doing on Rux and Live. It's my second channel. Go check it out. I've been posting every three or four days on there, so you get 
double video uploads if you guys follow there. It's more of a discussion, oh my goodness, discussion channel. So if you guys want to hear some discussions about current, like stuff like Ghost from the Past 2 and stuff like that, go check it out. We got Defender, we got a common soul, a little background uh, info as well. Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, Orbital Bombardment, Submarine Roid, I do love that one, and the Royal Writ of Taxation. What is going on here? Hello? <laughs> okay, all right, that was, was kind of strange. Next pack, let's do this. Let's see what we can pull. Box of Friends. We got Alter Guys fall over, Fail Over, the Repcha Egg, Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon, and Plunder Patrol Shipyard. Very cool. Patrol Ship Shipyard. <laughs> Let's go. Infernity Pawn. What can we do now? Can we pull a second ghost? It is possible out of one display to do that. Neos Kluber. So it doesn't look like that one's going to be it. Multiply Guy was in there. Let's try another Power of the Duelist. I think after a couple more ghosts from the past, we're going to go into a Ferrani Guardian Blister Pack and see what we can get. Can we get that Lava Golem? Um, ultra rare something. I don't know. Ambulance Roy. Let's go. Common Soul. Destiny Hero Blade Master. The Wonder Geddish. We got the Alien Gray. Can we get another Ultimate Rare Synthetic Seraphim? Black Terra. And we've got a Dark City. All right. It's dark in the city. But we did pull that ulti for Kaz the other day, which was pretty awesome. If you guys missed the third box from Kaz, go check that one out. That was an incredible opening. Also a long video. So if you enjoy long videos, that's the video for you. And Zector Gigamantis. We got the Infernity. We've got the Mardell, the Yang Zing Prana, and the Zhangxi. On to the next pack. Ghost from the past two. I still am not tired of Ghost from the past two. I've opened like 13 cases at this point. <laughs> Majesty Hyperion. This is the 14th case that we've opened total. Uh, Fortress Dragon and Anahara. This, I think, officially makes this the most open set for me on the channel. 14 cases of Ghost from the past two already. And I'm still having fun. It's been enjoyable. For Poor Pal, the Mystical Sand, Yang Zing of the Evil. Wait. Yang Zing, Evil of the Yang Zing. There we go. I struggle a little bit. Last one here, and then we're going to Pharaonic Guardian. Can we pull something big? Vision Hero. We've got the Retaliating Sea, the Rise of the Mega Monarch, Tinny Spirit, Mapura, and the Rare Fish. Let's go into Pharaonic Guardian, first edition. Okay, this is going to hurt a little bit. If you're a Blister Collector, turn away. We did it. We ripped it. Okay, let's get it out of there. First edition pack. It even had the $3.99 on it. That's honestly why I opened it, just because it's not as clean. First edition pack, unweighed, because it's been in this blister for so long. Since 2003, in fact. So, 19 years. Almost 20 years, which is pretty cool. Let's go. Giant Axe Mummy, first edition for Onyx Guardian. If you guys are interested in the commons that I pull out of here, hit me up. Or even the rares. Let me know, and uh, I can probably sell them. Two-ton mask, got the hieroglyph litho 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 lithograph. I can never say that. Cry you well. The Buster Wrencher, and Poison Mummy, next card. Maybe the next, it might even not even be the next card. Oh, it is the Jowls of Dark Demise, Curse of Aging, and the Yomi ship. So the Jowls have stolen our money. <laughs> Let's go back to Ghost from the Past 2. It's cool, but it's not what we're looking for. Let's see if we can actually pull some foils. There's also some really good ones like Metamorphosis, of course, in there. Reptilian Spawn. We got the Vision Hero Increase. Good Vision Hero card. The Chimera, Chimera Attack. And the Vampire Domination. Okay, we are running low on some packs. We're getting towards the finale at this point. This is going to be pretty epic. Magician's Force Third Party Blister with double packs in it. That's going to be pretty big. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight and the Hella with the Anamarica. I don't think I said that right. Let's go. Power of the Duelist. First edition. Hobby Pack. Could have Dark Neos Ultimate Rare. Could have Flare Neos Ultimate Rare. Could have Chimera Tech Over Dragon. I don't even own that card, so that would be pretty cool. I would be really down for that card. Blade Master, we got the Crop Circles. Rallus the Starbird. Amulus Rescue Roid. Contact. Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation. Supercharge! Alright, in a Destiny Mirage. Alright, Supercharge, I see you. Not what we're looking for, but it is Supercharged. Okay, let's keep going. Just a few more packs before we get into those last three Blister Packs. We have the Executor, the Void Cauldron, Christron Halky Fibrax. That's a good card. I mean, it's not crazy money. It's like under $7, so really not that great, but it's still cool to pull. One of the best cards in the set. Um, I think I shouldn't have done two in a row there because we still have two power duelists. Whatever. Sam Sarah Dragon, DD Swirl Slime. Borland Dragon, back-to-back -back good cards. So far, no uh, Aluber in this one, which is not that great, but we did get a Ghost Red Eye, so we can't really complain. Power of the Duelist. It's definitely slowed down since the beginning, though. We started off super hot with an Ulti, a Dark Neos, a Ghost Rare. Like, it was insane. Let's see if we can continue it right here with Power of the Duelist. I think it's four, but we're going to do three just in case. Saber Source. Royal Writ of Taxation. The Alien Skull. Black Terra. We have the Flying Saucer. Musik. The Paths of Destiny. D Spirit. And is it the next one? Oh, a Destiny Hero Dogma. Yes, indeed it is. 
Destiny Hero Dogma. Very cool. Super rare. We'll take it. That's a pretty nice card. One more Ghost from the Past 2. Let's do this. Let's pull something amazing. We have the Agent of Force Mars. Crimson Knight Vampire Bram. The Fossil Machine Skull Convoy. Insector Hornet. And the Agent of Mystery Earth. Okay. Let's go into our final power of the Duelist. Let's see if we can get another big card. So we pulled pretty good out of only what? Like six or seven packs? I don't remember how many it was, but it wasn't a lot. Let's see if we can pull another ultimate rare. We got a Mausoleum of the Emperor. We got the Decoy Roid. The Bit Long. Flying Saucer Musik. The Baby Sarasaurus. Crystal's Dolphin. Paths of Destiny. And the Future Fusion. That's a good card. And a Miracle Jurassic Egg. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Can be used in a lot of decks in old school formats. So now we go to the final three. We have Magician's Force, Dark Crisis, and Pharaonic. I think we start with Pharaonic, even though we've already opened one. Probably the least exciting of the three, but there's some awesome commons and rares. Trap Dust Shoot, Metamorphosis, and then, of course, Book of Moon as a rare. There's many more I'm forgetting. I think Dice Jar is worth a few dollars. I mean, there's a bunch of cards. And when you go through here, these are really, really nice. First edition, we just destroyed that blister. It opened really well, though, so that was nice. Let's see what we can pull. The cutting on these cards are, is always pretty interesting with Pharaonic Guardian. Like, they're not even even. It's really strange. Let's see if it'll we'll be able to show it here. So, yeah. Uh, they, these actually aren't too bad, but sometimes they're, like, really jagged. They cut them, like, super crazy. Maiden of the Aqua. The Giant Axe Mummy. Gravekeeper's Vassal from Duel Links. All right, what's up, dude? The Bird Face. He's the face of a bird. Right of the spirit. Wait, okay. Time out. He's Bird Face, but he also has wings. So... Correct me if I'm wrong, he's also bird wings, so is he just a bird? I don't know what's going on there. Ride of the Spirit, that's pretty strange. Ooh, and a Metamorphosis, the best common in the set. I mean, it was over 10 bucks last I checked. It had been up to 15 at some points. Really good in GOAT format. Let's see what else. Servant of Catabolism, okay. Not even sure what that means, but okay. Oh, and a secret rare lava golem! Let's go! That's like the third time we pulled this card. Let's go! And it's always off-centered, unfortunately. So I do have the one we pulled previously out of uh, loose Veronic Guardian packs. And now we have one from a blister. That is insane. You'll love to see it. The card looks really nice other than the centering. Maybe this, uh, you know, if we ever go back to CGC, we can try this again. That's a nice card. Look at that. Uh, the A and the V and the A and even the L. There's a bunch of ink blotching there, even on the M. Just the whole name. That's actually pretty sick. Lava Golem, what an opening today, guys. This has been awesome. But that's not all. We got two more packs. We got Dark Crisis. The reason I picked this one, there's a little bit of tape that got on there. So first edition Dark Crisis. Let's just check this out. We didn't really check out the uh, Ferrana Guardian like we should have. Exodia Necros. That's who we want. We want you to be in this pack. I take, um, well, Judgment of Anubis. <sighs> I take it, but I don't really want Judgment of Anubis. This one is not as easy to open, it seems. I would go crazy if we got an Exodia Necros. That would be insane. There's so many other cool cards in here as well, but that is the one. First edition Dark Crisis. You don't see this open very often, so enjoy it right now while you can. Let's see what we can pull. We pulled the Nintendogs right off the bat. We're going to play some Nintendo DS. Let's do this. Drag down into the grave. Rod of Silence cast. The final... Okay, let's not get um, demonetized there. Okay, the Ninkin Dog, a.k.a. Nintendo Dogs. The Dark Scorpion, very nice. Arsenal Robber. I'm getting nervous. Come on, Dark Scorpion, Grow the Strong. It may be next. It could be the Exodia Necros. We have pulled it once before. I'm down to pull it twice. Totally down. Not going to worry about that. Oh, and it's a Guardian Bow and a really eternal rest. That's going to be us after we neg hardcore on those, but can't really complain so far in this opening. And the final blister. First edition Magician's Force. Not one, but two. It's a double blister. Yeah. Okay. I left this up on the website for a while. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Nobody bought it. So I was like, you know what? We'll just open it then. We'll just chill. Let's do this. Hopefully we can pull a Dark Paladin. That is what I want. Dark Paladin. Because these, I think, might be retail. I'm not really sure. If they're retail, no Dark Magician Girl, which is unfortunate. But Dark Paladin. That's what we want. Two Magician's Force packs. First edition. Woo! Let's go, guys. Let's do this. I'm excited. Come on. Hopefully unweighed. I mean, you would think, oh, the Wave Motion Cannon, one of my favorite cards. Um, yeah, I know. It's a little degenerate, but it's pretty funny. Amazon is Spellcaster. Let's go. We got the Magical Scientist. Rivalry of the Warlords. Very good card, actually. Let's pull that out. Wave Motion Cannon. Also a pretty tough one. I mean, if it's graded, I bet that would be actually pretty valuable. Neko Main King. Look at the Sonic Duck. Dark Paladin would be insane. Come on. Frontline base, let's do it. Can we, is it the next card? 
Ah, oh, the cat's here, tribe, and the bitch dark dragon. I have not had great luck with MFC, well, openings in general. Remember the booster box? We opened a few of these blisters, and we have never really pulled anything good. I think the best we pulled was the XYZ dragon cannon. That was actually a pretty nice pull, but other than that, it's been pretty rough. Let's see what the last pack of the opening can do for us. Can it change our luck with Magician's Force? I believe it. The Pigeon Holding Book of Spells, which is now like a spell book card, which is really weird how they changed the name. First of all, Magical Scientist. Pretty cool. Rivalry again in both packs. That's pretty good. The Great Angus. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a burger? I mean, yeah, yeah get us the Great Angus from Wendy's. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Wendy's. Let's go. We got the uh, Pigeon Holding Book of Spells, which is now Spell Book of Organization or something like that. We got Thunder of Ruler. Magical Marionette. Can we get it? I think the next one should be the Dark Paladin. No, or the Foil Slot. Let's see. Oh, and it's an X Head Cannon. I think we've actually pulled X Head Cannon before. I'll take that. It's a foil. It's off center for sure. Definitely off center, but we're taking that. Definitely did not make our money back on these two packs because they're pretty valuable. But I mean, this is a clean super rare. I'm not going to complain about that. All right. That was not a bad opening overall. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter, Yamusa Jr., Barney, and Untied Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, and John Nolan. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.